Hey everyone, and welcome back to Lucette the Unlucky. Uh, look at this crew we got here. We got Sarana, the Vampire Queen. Dorak, the Vampire Slayer. Miko, our trusty companion for most of this. And we did have the uh, Dramora Deathlord there who might have just disappeared. I don't know where you went. He pops in back from the Oblivion Plane to help us out once in a while. All right, so look at this. We actually were right around the corner from our house here at uh, Mizzencleft, uh, whatever it's called. So, yeah, well, that was just a little side quest. That was a really, really harrowing dungeon. I just want to see how close we are, honestly. Uh, so... We had to retrieve the Dwarven Crossbow Schematic. And literally in our backyard here, we got Winstad Manor. We're like sort of near Morthal Solitude area. And we received this house basically because we helped the people of Morthal uh, clear out a vampire threat in the area. So it's all tying together nicely. Uh, they don't seem to mind uh, that we're palling around with the vampire. Well, I don't know that we've been to Morthal actually since uh, we got Serana here. But in the other towns, I don't know. I guess they're not going to start messing with a vampire walking around as long as it's not attacking anyone. You know what I mean? They're probably just a little nervous. And they know that we are the Vampire Slayer, so they maybe they think we captured it, subdued it. They know we do poisons too, maybe we th they think we uh, hypnotized it or did something with the poison. Or they just see so many weird things in Skyrim. Who even cares, right? <laughs> Alright. Let's get over here. I want to just check out our house from a different angle here. I think we're right down here in this valley. Yeah, there it is. That's our house. So that was pretty cool. Let's get a little vantage up here. Oh, and here, look at this. Jeez. Oh my god. All right. This is literally in our backyard. Uh, whoever, no wonder no one was living in this house. I mean, like, what the heck? What is that place? We're going to have to go down and discover this uh, location. Maybe we'll get like a nice little uh, screenshot here, though. Alright, <laughs> this is the process I go through here. <laughs> it's a little hard sometimes when you got these rocks in the way or whatever. Well, that's not bad. It's not the best angle. We got some trees in the way. But it is just pretty cool just seeing our grounds. We own a lot of that grounds. We have like a little fish hatchery uh, on that lake there. So it's just interesting seeing it from this uh, this angle, honestly. Because the front of the house is to the left there, you know. That's where we usually show up. So I don't really usually see this angle at all. There's the crew. We're doing a pretty good job out there, hunting down the vampires, uh, dealing with the menace of Serana's father eventually. Uh, we got a few little side quests to do here and there before we start. And th things are going to get really harrowing here as we head into the end game of this DLC. Uh, yeah, we got to find Ariel's bow, which is going to be a really long quest. And then after that, all we got to do is kill her dad with it. Uh, no big deal, right? So that's it. Really, basically, two more parts of this quest. All right, I'm just going to go over here and discover this location uh, so it's on my map at least. So at least I know when I look at the map that there's this uh, ancient ruin right in my backyard or side yard or whatever you want to call this. My next door neighbor, <laughs> the Highgate Ruins. Uh, so uh, I don't really personally like wandering through ruins randomly if I don't have a quest for them. You know, it could be just a place that gets radiant quests, or it could be something important that I don't really want to discover unless I'm on a quest for it. Oh, it looks like we got some enemies here, so let's get to fighting. Uh, we don't really have to do that much, probably. A bunch of wolves. Take out our Daedric sword. 
which we picked up on our journeys here. All right, well, you know what? Let me go out. Well, we don't have time to poison this thing. I don't want to hit Miko here. All right. Oh, now we got this one in our back. All right. Anyway, a lot of blood on that one. All right. Well, it's pretty murky out here. This is not the best weather in this area all the time. But, uh, what are you going to do? Oh, that's why I didn't have my sparks. Look at that. Some Nurn Root. Nice. So, yeah, we still have to find some of this for the uh, Blackbriar uh, daughter. Over in Riften. She asked us to grab us, like, 20 of those. They're not that easy to find. Oh, look at this. We got clam meat. Uh, I don't know if that... I guess that's a food, not an ingredient. But that is pretty cool. I've never... I don't think I've ever harvested clams. Interesting. Okay. Didn't even realize that was a uh, part of the game, to be honest. So, we learn something new every day. Alright, so we actually have a quest right up here. We gotta go to the wreck. Alright. Why don't we have the quest on here? All right, I gotta, I gotta turn the quest on. All right, so we got this. What is the quest we have to do for this? There's like a book there, I think. Oh, okay, we got a couple more bloods left. Well, we don't want to do that. Oh, that's it. The copy of the legendary. Yeah, that's it. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, there we go. All right, I knew I had a quest there, like right in our neighborhood, but I didn't uh, actually tag it on. So yeah, we kind of uh, well, we had to go to the library at the uh, College of Winterhold, the uh, Magician's College, Mage's College. We had to go to the library there, well, looking for information about an Elder Scroll. The orc uh, that is the head librarian there helped us out. And so we've been, you know, just doing him a favor. Since he doesn't get out too much, he's there with his books. And uh, none of the other students are really up in this area or anything. So we told him we'd find this book for us. Apparently they were going to deliver it to him or something and the ship wrecked. I don't know. He had a whole story about it. Uh, so, yeah, he knew it was on this ship, and we're like, yeah, we heard that wreck was nearby our uh, house, actually. All this conversation happened off screen, you know. So, uh, yeah, and so we volunteered. We're like, we'll pick it up next time we're near our house. So uh, we weren't even home at this point. We just happened to be at this other uh, Mixoplex or whatever the heck that place was. And uh, look at all these potions we have. It's ridiculous. All right, let's get out the crossbow here. We got some enemies on the deck. We might be able to pick them off from here. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see what that was, and I killed it. It was just a blob to me. All right, we're looking pretty cool. It's looking pretty gray out here. Oh, we got mud crabs. That's what that was. I just the little top of the mud crab sticking out. All right. Oh, mud crabs, no big deal here with the dwarven bolts. Nice. Wow, that's like one of the first times we actually killed everything before our companions even got uh, much of a hit in. I think Dorok maybe got one one blow in there. He would have killed it if we were running up to it, that's for sure. Uh, luckily, we had the crossbow out and ready to go. Wow, this... Uh, <laughs> The waves are crashing pretty hard into this place. I can't really hear you, Dorak. What you say back there? <laughs> I feel like we're going to shipwreck. We're already in a shipwreck. All right. Looks like we got to go inside. Some of these ships are just all open, so this is uh, pretty interesting. There's actually an interior part, and it's equally slanted. This must have been actually pretty hard to program here to get, like, the angles of everything and... I don't know. Pretty interesting. Just for like a little shipwreck. 
It's definitely dizzying. There's all this fog in here. Stuff floating. And there's so much crap living in here. Dora, come on. You got the shock treatment there running in front done of me. And done. All right. Well. Oh, that's not a mud crab. That's a sack. All right, look at all this ore. Oh, they had some precious stuff. This was a huge supply ship. Look at this. They're transporting valuable ore. We better take that. The people of the Dawn Guard could use that to make more uh, armor and weapons Sorry. and stuff. And maybe some rings we could sell. Oh, here we go. I missed. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's All right. no wonder our enemies fear the sight of an orc warrior. Yeah, I think that these Minecrafts were surprised just that anyone showed up here, honestly. They were probably chilling here for a while. But you know what? There's valuable treasure here. Someone was bound to come eventually and check out this shipwreck. Maybe not looking for what we're looking for with this book. But, uh, all, you know... Like ore, there's probably some gems somewhere. Maybe people already came for the gems and left the ore. Who knows? All right, this lock is uh, bugging me here. I almost have it. And I keep messing up. And I'm down to well under 100 lockpicks here. Which, all right, I still have 80, almost 80 lockpicks. Like, it's, I'm probably not going to run out anytime soon. But, man, once I get under 99 plus, I don't even know anymore. I get nervous. All right, well, we're down in the cargo hold here. There has to be a key up there sometime. For things like this, there's usually a key. All right, here we go. Look at this, we found the chest. And this is locked too. So yeah, there's probably a key we could have found. Because I don't know that I'll have a quest item under two adept locks. That's uh, and not even a Thieves Guild quest, you know. They're really up. Uh, would be presupposing a lot so probably if we hunted around we would have found the key look at that that one was easy though huh all right here's the book oh it's a poem all right whistle in the wind well malakath huh Tadric lord the mace of Malachi, huh? Interesting. All right, well, we uh, had our dealings with the plane of oblivion, that's for sure. Yeah, we're pretty much on uh, friendly terms with a bunch of uh, Daedra lords. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how friendly they are, but uh, yeah, we partied all night with one of them. He gave us the gift of, uh, I don't know if it's his buddy or him, honestly, that we uh, call forth from the Oblivion plane. Didn't really catch all the whole explanation of it. We were a little wasted, uh, hungover at the time. But yeah, they transported us to the Oblivion plane. We thought all this bad stuff was going to happen. They're like literally having a party there. So it was like, thanks for uh, hanging out all night. We don't remember most of it. Then we did another one with a dog. Barbus, and we helped the dog uh, find its owner. It was the pet of one of these uh, Daedric Lords, right? All right, let's check this out. What am I doing here? Anyway, yes, yeah, so it was the pet of one of these Daedric Lords, and uh, we reunited it. The guy tried to trick us into killing the dog. We're not, we're not killing the dog. He offered us something. I don't even remember what. And then we got this crazy mask that we can wear that gives us better prices and stuff. All right, let's drink some wine. Yeah, we're over encumbered. That was the problem. So we'll drink a little wine and uh, be on our way. Oh, wait, uh, too much wine. All right, well, I guess I could always wear a backpack or something. We'll just drink all the wine. Oh, my God. Wait, how is... Oh, Jesus. I'm like, how is there one still alive and no one's... Killing it. Well, that's Serana for you. Uh, she loves to make new friends. Sorry. Yeah, well, it's okay. It's a little crowded in here. We really didn't need the extra mud crab uh, walking around with us, honestly. Look at this. More stuff. More weight. <laughs> more carry weight. Look at this. Oh, yeah, we need this, right? All right, we're going to have to wear the backpack. 
no big deal. Or right, we got the uh, bandolier we can put on. Let's see what this is though. Oh, we got the thin knapsack now. All right, but you know what? That actually doesn't even use, it looks a little better, but that actually doesn't give as much uh, weight. It gives 30 and we got 50 here. So looks like we can't use that. I just wanted a little more streamlined uh, backpack, but I guess not. All right, there's probably some other junk we can find here. Oh my God, <laughs> speaking of junk, there's actually another mud crab. All right, didn't really. Wait, that's where we just came from. All right, well. Come on, Miko. You gotta be kidding me. Miko, we're stuck. We're gonna just die in this boat. We're gonna live in this boat. For the rest of the series, the vampires are gonna take over all of Tamriel because we can't get past Miko. So yeah, it's over guys, GG's. Yeah, we're stuck. We can climb on this bed. Man, they don't really give you that much room on that top bunk there, honestly. Sorry. All right, uh, all right. Dude, this is not good. All right, we got it. We hopped up on him. Oh my God, and she's got the mud crab. Ugh. All right, this is a comedy of errors at this point, getting out of here. I'm like dizzy just from the angles. And uh, it doesn't help that Miko, we got extra mud crab in the way. And uh, we got to get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's over here, right here. All right. Oh my God. All to get this book. This has nothing to do with the quest. Nothing to even do with Dawn God. Nothing to do with anything. We're not joining the Mages Guild or whatever it's called. We're just helping out a buddy who helped us out. All right. Well, that's all it's all about, right? Why is it? Door open. <laughs> Who left the door open, guys? You're gonna let, did a vampire wander in here? All right. Well, anyway, we're back here at Fort Dawnguard to turn in the quests. We had a dead vampire in the previous episode or something, and we can sell some stuff. You know, do the behind-the-scenes stuff before we. Uh, th and then that's it. I think after that, it's gonna be uh, pretty harrowing from here on out so enjoy the moment of rest while we still have it here because uh, we're gonna be in some dark deep dark good to see places you. soon yeah good to see you do you ever do anything have you ever killed a vampire dude or you just sit here eating all day who the heck is that guy they hire all these people they don't even do anything I mean at least she's making stuff He's out here making stuff and armoring these place, trolls up. It? That guy's this always in fine the, for now, but sitting there doing nothing. Up here forever. Exactly. Tell that to the other for guys. For those who cherish memories of loved ones, their compassion often conceals the beast. All right. Our compassion compels us to destroy it. Yeah, they were hiding this uh, vampire from us. Uh, what actually, do you mean? the Jarls. Blades, armor, smithing materials. How, whatever they're called. Thane or whatever. That's pretty cool. The Dwarven Mace of the Greybeards. All right. Does he have anything we want? I don't think he's going to have a weapon we want. But I... Man. He just never has anything good. Enchanted. Gauntlets of Thrashing. That'd be cool if you have a Bash. Bashing does more damage. If you have, like, a Bash type of character. <laughs> which is... I like that mechanic. I like it in Fallout 4, too. You bash him with the gun. I love that mechanic. It's kind of cooler with a gun, honestly, to me. But, uh, yeah. All right. Well, we got rid of the gold ore, but we have more at home. We have a lot of gold ore. All right. So, yeah, all this ore for the uh, struggle here. Armor up for the big battle. We got an ebony shield. Look at all this stuff for the guys here. They're going to be all armored up. Takes 50. Man, that is a interesting buff, but we're not wearing that. We pretty much got our outfit settled on here. If we get different vampire armor, we'll put that on. Look at this. Glass battle axe, glass greatsword. We got some really good stuff for this guy. All right, those vampires are not going to stand a chance. Plus, we're selling them poisons and stuff to the other guy. 
all sorts of good poison. So all these guys can come here and get super equipped. All right, we don't need all these arrows either. See, Gunmar here has so much gold. He's still at 1,600 gold, so we could, might as well get rid of anything we can. We're not really using arrows because we're using the uh, crossbow, right? So we can get rid of all the lower, lower quality arrows. We got steel bolts. And we got the dwarven bolts too. Good luck. Pretty good. And all the exploding, and we don't have too many of those. She Hope sells get, these. I like what Isran has done with the place. All right, so now we have it's a good dwarven to see someone else crossbow. who's really prepared. All right. You never disappoint. What have you got there? This is it. Is it really? Yep. It is. It is. We had to go through a lot of trouble for this. this. It's a diagram for a Dwemer crossbow. Much more sophisticated and powerful than All right. the ones we Sounds use. Sounds good to me. Hook Here, it up. Let me show you how it's made. Well, why don't you just give me one? Assuming Instead of you have me some the smithing skills, circlet. you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. I don't have Either way, skills. I'll have some for sale soon. All right. Well, we're going to buy that. It's not easy to get supplies way out here, but I'm managing. Take a look. Gunmar, do you really got a hammer while I'm trying to do business over here? All right, I could do stuff. All right, we're going to grab these bolts, right? They're pretty expensive here. 39 each, but we have plenty of gold. I don't think we're going to run out of gold buying like two or three of these arrows. So, all right, so we got the dwarven crossbow, which I kind of want to buy. But see, we're using, we got the enhanced crossbow also. So I kind of know, you know, you can tell the next mission is going to be to find a Dwarven Enhanced Crossbow because they got to level that up too. So we're going to wait for that probably. All right, so a bunch of gold there. A lot of soul gems. All right, let's sell her the rest of our garbage here. Not too, we got rid of all our weapons. We have all these random amulets. I don't know if I feel like going through these now. We don't really need them. Now, what I could do, once I'm back to my house, I will want to get collect all those. You can make shrines in your basement, but like I don't feel like dealing with that right now. We're on a mission here. This is not like crafting freaking time. Uh, this is time to get lean and mean and uh, supply it and supply our allies here. Armor rating. We don't need that, that's for sure. Block. We definitely don't need that. All right, so they'll all use these, I don't know, stamina regenerates. Now, we actually could use that, actually, when we're uh, using the crossbow. I actually, I probably won't remember to put it on, but that could be very useful, actually. Never would have thought I would want it. But see, when you zoom in with the bow, it uses all your stamina really quick. So if I want to stay zoomed in, I can wear that ring. It'll help. All right. Out. One more set of Dwemer yeah, plans to go. one more set to go. How did I know? I think I'll be sad when we're done collecting these. Who knows, though? Maybe more plans will turn up in the future. Um, okay. I can't wait to see these drawings. Go on, get out of here. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cozy little place, isn't this? All right, let's get a job from him, too. Speak with his son. Oh, has okay. So that's it. All right, so we do. We're not gonna do the main Fight bravely, quest yet yeah, until we get that last dwarven schematic. Arke's been watching over me for years now. We might still have to he get the uh, fire sure dwarven crossbow. Yet, I don't even know. Oh, I've read a few things, heard a few more things. Arke has told me a bit as well. All right, this the is story they like to believe lore. is that there was such listen. a noble bunch doing the honorable thing and saving lives. Only I hear that's not quite how it happened. Secret organization, you see. No one to blame when homes are broken into, hmm. things stolen. Okay. Heard they'd go on midnight raids, pillaging and looting, and then stash the spoils somewhere, guarded by their sigil. Arke tells me the Sunfire spell can break open those caches, but I've never found one. I think you might be lying to me. Oh, well, we have that spell. All right. So, ah, Potions, like... my friend. Potions. Possibly some spells? Maybe some other things I've forgotten about. Actually, I'm not sure. Let's see, shall we? Yeah, so this guy makes most of the potions. He makes the general healing potions and the poisons for the uh, Dawn Guard. But, you know, we have super advanced, complicated, uh, high-level, 
combos and stuff so we usually sell that stuff to him plus whatever we happen to pick up in the dungeon we can dump off to him too that we don't need so he gets like the worst potions and the best potions from us basically so we can sell him some of these charis eggs we picked up remember when we were picking those up in the last episode we found a ton of them so here's some ingredients for you we don't normally even sell the ingredients but it's way too many of those that's for sure and uh you want a dumpling all right so we we have 14 garlic bread let's sell them some garlic bread here too for the, in case they get bit i think we still have some more butter we can make more maybe but anyway seven times we're probably not gonna become vampires seven more times before this is over right maybe it's five or six but all right look at this we have way too many of these weakness to fire so this is good, you know, it's kind of buttering them up a little bit. Tenderize the meat there, you know, send this uh, weakness of fire potion. Poison your thing. Hit the vampire. They hate fire anyway. And spray your fire at them and uh, they'll die a lot quicker that way. So a little strategy there. All right, so uh, well. sunfire, yeah. Hope you're getting uh, along with Isron. He takes some getting used to. I don't really see him that much. He's like up in the tower. Wait. Is that him? No. All right, I think I'm supposed to talk to him, actually. I forgot to still return that book also. Yes. So yeah, well, we're not, re I was gonna say, we gotta return that book to the library. We're not really returning a book to the library. We're actually giving Good it day, to them. Friend. You know, for the first time for their collection, so it's a little different. But I don't think someone took out that book, sailed away somewhere else, and was on their or they were leaving and crashed. I don't think I've helped you all that I can. I think the they just uh, he just wanted that for the first time. All right, well I guess we got to go upstairs. The guy doesn't come down here. Uh, makes us go to him, the big boss man up here. Jeez, I can see why they complain about this guy. Like, literally high and mighty over here. You know what I mean? I don't even see him. There's a little torture area in his room. There's his bed. Where is this guy? What has he got in his chest? Nothing. This place is a dump. Still, can you clean a few of these cobwebs out, man? You're the only one that comes up here. Well. That's that. What's there a hay bale doing up here anyway? I mean, I guess they're gonna make more beds or something. Once we get more people. All right. Is this the guy? I knew it would come to this one day. All right. where, where I were knew, you? and no one believed. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep if you can. Uh. The Jarl's in danger. Okay, I don't a vampire plays as a visiting advisor oh, to the court. Destroy it before it's able to complete its foul the business. The Jarl's in danger. But be warned. The Jarl's guards are unaware of the threat and will treat violence against this oh, advisor as a mission. crime. Convince the Jarl of the threat and he'll let you destroy the oh, creature. Okay, speech mission. If not, then do your best not to get caught. Well, Quickly now. The longer you delay, the more danger the Jarl is in. That. I think we could wait like a long time and he'll still be the quest will still be there when we show up. Watch but. your back. All right. Well, um, yeah. All right. So I guess we're not going to deal with her dad uh, in this episode or the next episode. <laughs> I don't know. We got to deal with this threat. They're going to kill uh, the Jarl of Ripton here. They got a vampire hider. These vampires have infiltrated society, basically. And so we are going to have to deal with this. And this sounds like some type of stealth mission here. We're not supposed to kill this thing and let anyone see us. And uh, we're probably going to have to prove it's a vampire somehow. Got something I'm supposed okay. to deliver. Your Why? Only. This guy creeps me out, man. Let's see here. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markar. Calselmo? Looks like that's it. Got to go. What? Markarth? Why am I getting a note from Markarth? I've been there on one drunken night. Is this about the drunken night? <laughs> oh my god, that's where we ended up. 
when we got that uh, staff. I ran the heck out of there. All right, it comes to my attention that you may have recently acquired a certain exploding dwarven bolt of ice from Fort Dongard. I'm not sure how object came to find itself. I literally just bought that. Like, right now. We just bought that and came here, and this was our first stop. This guy is like, got some magical wizardry or something here. <laughs> like, uh, he's like tapping into the, uh, hacking or something. I don't know. Like, how did he know that? And he sent this courier to us to show up here. Well, he just literally just bought it. All right. Well, that's what these wizards do, I guess. I don't know. All right. I well, know you. Did we yeah, have an appointment? I know you too. No. It was a. Let's see. Last time I used Wait, the we're supposed to do something for her. My dear okay, we have Bodie's a quest for her I forgot Augusta. about. All right, we're going to have to deal with Fellstar that at some point. Farm, yes. I believe it's called. I probably had, like, go to this, this house and or just forgot what it was. should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. All right. I don't know why you know I didn't just take oh, it Oh, well, with we've me. been to Winterhold. We're going to have to get and that. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Winterhold. All right, we haven't gone to Winterhold, really. It was a good trade, too. Well, make sure we keep oh, well. the trolls out night and day, right. just to be certain. I have to remember. Where's this vampire guy? I don't Lord see anyone extra here. Summon. Are we still oh, this is him. For Look at that. He looks combat? like a vampire. Need something? I need you to... Of course. Your training I need complete. to uh, expose you, I guess. Look at the red eyes. They don't see experience. these red eyes? Lady. Yo, Jarl. What Yo. can I do for you? What can you do for me? You got a vampire right there. That's quite a bold claim. Well, I'd need proof before I could possibly accept it. I mean, he's got red eyes and I he looks still have the run of the looks place. like a vampire. Come now, brother. Don't act and he walks journey. like all funny. I know you like he's about to bite about someone. One way or another. The things you mm -hmm. Don't you know? She doesn't notice. As she doesn't even little. notice anything. All right. Well, here it goes. I would ask that you maintain respect. I guess we got to kill this guy behind closed doors here. Let's turn invisible. Can't hurt, right? 20 seconds, that's not good. All right, 40 seconds. All right, let's go. You had it all. You had it all and your mouth cost you All right, so we, I think we can pickpocket him at and find I've some. Come on, Saran. Oh, my God. Look at that. She made me close the door, and then I popped out of my invisibility uh, because I activated something. Well, is that how that works? I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Oh, my God. Look at that. We did it. First try. <laughs> well, okay. Maybe that wasn't the first try. But uh, you don't need to see you. any of that. Where was it? We literally just... Talk oh, about speak. it. Speak. All right. You were getting I wish to hear everything my subjects have to say. All right. Well, look, this guy. Did you have some sort of business here? Meanwhile, I'm like, you're in danger of, of vampires in your court, and we're no time for walking us. around with a vampire. By the way. Yes. Well. We like literally brought another vampire into their visit. court. My guards will not interfere with you carrying out my justice. Oh, I got to take care of it. Why don't you guard? You got like 10 guards Good here. Good journey to you. They can't help. They got a guard there, two up there. All right. Well, this is what we do. He's just sitting in there doing doing some uh, enchanting or something. All right. Let's get this out. Should we paralyze him? All right. We'll use the sunfire. That always... Uh, vampires love that spell. They love the full power Did of the of the sun right in them. No. It was a delivery? Alright, hey guy. Come here. You're done. Alright. Well, that was pretty easy. That went a lot quicker than I thought. Well, it didn't really. It actually took like two or three tries, but well, the, no, it actually only took one try. The first try, I got caught pickpocketing. The guards killed me. The second try, I came in and, like, the guy just didn't spawn. And so that's why I peeked in here when I first walked in, actually. And was, then he walked around the corner. So yeah, it was only really one try and then a glitch. All right. Come on, guys. Get out of my way. Okay. Well, looks like they're, uh fitting in <laughs> together <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. 
Yeah, we got quite the crew here. Uh, Nico is like the most you normal the one in our crew. Just a normal old dog that we found on the road. Durok and Serana, they seem to be palling up pretty good. I guess vampires aren't all that bad, but I still think maybe she's like hypnotizing us to do our bidding or something, and uh, something really bad's gonna happen at the end of this. But, uh, I mean, I know it's spoiler alert. I know that's not gonna happen, but I'm saying my character, she's just like, why do I have such positive feelings for this vampire lady? All right, so what do we got here? A few more quests to do. Gallows Rock. Alright, we can go there to uh, access a little deeper. Alright, looks like we're going to get blow some more of these quests out. So, we are going to be proceeding with the main quest in the next episode, probably. Or maybe the one after that. Because we still got to drop this book off to the Winterhold College. Uh, we might have some more quests. I want to do as many, like, I basically want to do maximum, not every single side quest, but I want to do most of the side quests before I finish the main quest of the Dawn Guard. So, you know, I don't want to be coming back here and doing, the, like, the whole dwarf. Imagine if I just skip the dwarven crossbow thing. You know, I don't want to come back and do that after we kill the vampires. So, I'll probably come back here to visit, and there's still going to be radiant quests we can do, hunting vampires and whatever, but... You know, that's more just to, like, stay in touch than, you know, I want to get the bulk of it done. I like to pace it out so you do some of the side quests, some of the main quests, go back to the side quests, go back to the main quests. So that's what we're doing here today. The side quest portion of our DLC takes you to all different locations all over Skyrim. So I guess I don't even remember what this, uh, which quest this was. We're either looking for the Dwarven schematic or we might have another quest to find that, uh, those weapons. Remember he said something about we, they stored weapons we have to unlock with the Sunfire. So that might be, I think we have two quests to do right now. So I guess we had three total with the, uh, Jarl's quest we just did. Nice snowy day out. And, oh man, we're not going to make it up the slope. I thought we would all go that way, but I guess not. All right. Oh, look at this. We got a frost troll. All right. Oh man, this orc got right up all in that troll. Wait, is she zapping it with lightning? Wow, okay. That's pretty cool. I, I guess she's used it before, but she mostly uses the... This is pretty interesting. She mostly uses the frost spike, but I guess... Because it was a frost troll, she switched to the uh, electricity there. Because, I mean, that guy's eating frost spikes for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's literally his food. Or it's his home. Or I don't know. He likes it. It's like a warm blanket to him. All right. All right. So, yeah. We got to go back, down, up, around. Uh, my sense of direction is not great. Well, I mean, I was going in the right direction. It's just the slope was too, uh, too steep there. So it seemed like I could go that way, actually. I never seem to find the actual road, like the path that <laughs> is supposed to go there, though. There's all these little markers, too, on the road, you know, on the way. You're supposed to be following. But you sometimes I can't, like, I probably came from the wrong way. I should have come from the north. Or something and that's where the path is so that's what happens like when you fast travel or even if you're just coming from Riften instead of coming from white run you know what I mean so here's the path uh, we see a lot of footprints in the snow yeah so we're gonna have to go up we we'll have to go all the way around honestly look at them there they're coming down here oh maybe we could have just gone see it looks like I can just walk up that slope right there on the on the left there. But I, I feel like now I have to go all the way around, basically. Well, they just came down here. Actually, they just came down, so maybe that's where it connects. Back up.
Wait, what's that? Is that another troll? Let's try to sneak up and just paralyze. Oh, two of them. I knew it looked weird like it was fatter or something, but it was like two of them <laughs> side by side. Oh, Serana resisted. Oh, I missed. All right, you're done. Timberho. You're, that frost troll does not want to get paralyzed. All right, let's zap, double zap here. Done and done. Double, double frost troll death all right we're doing all right guys come on miko always in the way all right troll fat not the best ingredient but it's something we can't resist like now people are relying on us for our potions now now that we're selling up to dawn guard and people in the town are getting well supplied we just feel like yeah people are relying on us we're like one of the premier alchemists in Skyrim making some of the greatest potions that they've ever seen. Oh, we're back right here. This is like literally where we just came from. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. Uh, doesn't it look like I should be able to come up there? Are you kidding me? See, I thought we were coming from like the one actually right right at the tip of the uh, the tip of the arrow right there. I thought we were coming up right there. And then it's still too steep. All right, guys. We got to go all the way around. At least I know I can, should go down this way instead of jumping down. And then we're closer. Yeah, see, I got to go up there. Like, one, either there or even on, over on the left a little more. Right there. All right. All right. Well, we have plenty of time to kill. We got, we got rid of that court wizard vampire uh, pretty quickly. So we're in no hurry here. We can just enjoy a nice leisurely walk in the uh, freezing cold snow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, here are stairs. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a sign that we can... Uh... I don't even think that's where we have to go, though, actually. I better look. Oh, maybe it is. Alright, well, see what I mean? There's always a path on the other side. I'm trying to climb the mountain. What is this place? This is gonna take forever. What are you doing? That's close enough. Bandits. They're just warning us. All right. Well, okay. It is close enough. I can get you from here. Oh, my God, Serana. Well, I guess she just likes the lightning now because uh, maybe I was wrong about being a frost troll because <laughs> uh, these bandits are now getting zapped by her, too. Oh, she's zapping all the way up there. All right, we have a terrible angle now. Let's see if we can get one more. Yeah, they were surrounded, actually. You got Serana here, you got Miko over there, and you got me down here. They, they were triangulated there. All right, well, looks like we got another old ruin. Seem to be a lot of these around Skyrim. All right, yeah, so this is the enhanced uh, crossbow bolt. Another dwarven ruin. All right, let's get in here. We'll take out the sword and the shock. All right. Uh, get in, get out. Get another crossbow uh, schematic. Alright. Oh, look at that. We got a fire trap already set off. That thing's already Show going. Yourself. Oh, these are just bandits. More bandits. 
Wow, that guy's tough. That's an old tough guy. Look at this. He's got a big hammer. Oh, this guy is tough. All right, not too... I mean, he can't fight three or four of us here. Plunderer, man. If we hadn't surprised him, I don't know. He might have taken one or two of us out. Oh, look at this. They're grilling the meat. Look at that. They got a whole... Like uh, camping setup here at the grill, the steak. This guy's just hanging out, man. I feel kind of feel bad for killing all these people. Hey guys, I'm just looking for the schematic. You guys don't even know what it is. Probably can't even read it. Just let me through here. I don't need to kill y'all, you know. Wow, this plunderer is tough. He's not. He's not taking any damage. Look at that. He's got ice spikes. Dora hit him like ten times. He's finally dead. Not gonna die like this. Yeah, man, you guys took a while to get this guy. Well, he's got the steel plate armor. That might be part of the reason. Can we even carry this? Yeah, we can. That's some good, uh, good stuff. They're gonna enjoy that back at the Dawn Guard. Someone's gonna put that on. Let's read this. Ethereum Wars. Oh, look at that. Investigate the ruins. We learned of a new ruin from reading that book. All right, anyway, let's help these guys out. We've got another plunderer here. All right, no big deal. I don't even think my thing's poisoned uh, right now. I'm like, kind of letting them do most of the work. I'm more on the archaeological side of this expedition here, like looking around. I already found a clue to another ruin, so uh, that's pretty good uh, find. Might have to go there once all this battling is over. All right, and we're going to drink some of the good stuff, the Alto wine. Take that with us for later. All right, can we go through here? Oh, a master lock, my favorite kind of lock. All right, these are so easy. You just got to find the one little sliver that uh, is the right spot. It's not that hard. It could be anywhere, but uh, I don't know. Usually you got a little deft hands, you know, you can find it. Uh, uh, well, we still have 70 lockpicks. You could literally pick every single spot and still have like 20 lockpicks left. Uh, but you know what? I don't feel like dealing with it. Yeah, uh, I used to be a little... Well, I'm still pretty good at the Adept locks. Those Master Locks, man. Well, basically what you have to do is once you level up your lockpicking skill like a little better, uh, then, you know, the sweet spot becomes like a little bigger. It breaks a little uh, less your easy to break ah, when you're pushing on it. We got ourselves a hero. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're just basically oh, looking for God, some plans. We don't... Yeah, we will. We will leave her alive. This guy's got no shirt on, and he's still alive. We're poisoning them with frenzy, and it's not doing anything. Come on, guy. You keep missing me. All right. Okay, so the marauders are too powerful for frenzy. But I think that other guy wasn't a marauder, was he? And these people are tough. It is pretty cool watching Dora go at it like that. It's like, just like two powerful foes facing off, man. I don't know. I think they were evenly matched and, uh, you know, Dora got the edge when we were just stabbing the guy in the back. He wasn't even paying attention. Not really a fair fight there, but uh, you know what? I don't really care. They're bandits. I really don't want to fight them. I just wanted that key, though. And I really just, you know, want the schematic. They can keep all the rest of the treasure, but now that they're dead, uh, looks like we're taking all the treasure and everything they're wearing. And uh, we might even take some of the meat, too. Dorok, you want some fresh meat? They're cooking up, grilling up stuff here. These guys are expert uh, at the cooking spit. All right, I don't know. I don't want to unlock that. Oh, wow, here we got a skill book. No, we already read it. 
so yeah if the books are worth more than like five you know if they're worth 75 or 50 they're usually a skill book that's how you that's a little cheat code there <laughs> or skyrim of course i played for like many years and never realized that oh see this is what you use to kill the uh, big dwarven centurions you, just, you pull that and it sends a bolt we could have killed those guys with it too <laughs> that would have been funny See, there's one that broken. Oh my god. No, it's just another master gate. What the heck is up with this place? You gotta be a real uh, lockpick expert to explore this area. Master locks. Come on. Alright. Alright, so I guess the thing is, at least in this area, we're not gonna have to go through another area. We just might have to go through some locks or... All right, there's the wine. We're going to drink that. Uh, you know, obviously, I like to... Now, the spiders aren't even coming out of those things. All right, that's good, I guess. I wouldn't mind fighting a few of them. All right, so, I, you know, we like to explore all the areas, too, but I guess it's right here in this chest. There we go. We got the schematic. It's right here. Guys, you got to just stay alive. Look at this, though. Oh, no wonder they didn't want us in here. They got all their stash here. A ring of the assassin. Diamond necklaces. These bandits, man. This is a hardcore group of bandits. They're all holed up in this dwarven uh, ruin. Pretty well-fortified area. I don't think anyone knew they were even here, honestly. And uh, they obviously were pretty good at banditing if they got, like, gold diamond necklaces and stuff like that stored up, so... But uh, I don't know if they lo Oh, look at that. We got it. We got it. All right. Master lock there. And we leveled up. You get one master lock, you level right up. But look, we're only on level 28, 29. That's like honestly terrible. Man, they got a lot of good stuff here. They probably got the key to this somewhere, right? Coin purses, gold ore, shields. We haven't even gone in the chest yet. Well, nothing in the chest. Well, we could use that now that we're using archery. All right, guys. This was a very lucrative uh, stop. Some potion, valuable potions. Dwarven stuff. The dwarven stuff was here already. You know, the bandits didn't plunder that. But all those sacks of gold, precious gems and stuff. I mean, they probably collected it from here, actually. Most of it. I don't know. Who the heck knows? I'm just trying to hype them up a little bit. Now, I don't know how much deeper we want to go into this cave here. This might be a whole quest area that we don't want to deal with. Oh, here we go. Here's our friends, the Dwarven Spears. Even better than the spiders. Man, this is tough. It's hard with me going away there, actually. All right. So, yeah, there's a spider. Um, well, jeez, Louise. What is the spider doing? What are you attacking? This is chaotic. Oh, another one. Okay, uh, this is not going very well. We need to, uh... Yeah, fortify our health a little bit. We're gonna die. Like, we had health, but, like, this is gonna get ugly real fast here. Alright, let's put our... Sp well, we have our spark on, right? We'll double spark. Dual wield that thing. Shock these things out of existence. Overload their circuits or whatever. Alright. Alright, GG's. All right, well, you know what? This is probably some huge cavern. There might be another quest to do here. I think we should get out of here. Let's just peek over here. Yeah, this is a little ridiculous here. Dora. Jump right in front of my shock. Yeah, they got traps and everything. Guys, let's just get out of here. We don't need to, like, explore this whole dungeon looking for stuff. 
Uh, we got the schematic. We killed the bandits. We don't need to kill every dwarven, whatever. There's probably the big ones, the centurions. Uh, there might be something in here for some other quest, but uh, we don't need it. All right. I know this place, man. All right. Guys, get the meat. Last chance. Well, Serana probably doesn't want it. Just Dorok. Wait, we can't even get out this way. What the heck? I'm lost. All right. Over here. All right, guys, let's go. We got a mission. We got to kill some vampires and stuff. I mean, it's one thing to get sidetracked to uh, improve the equipment of the Dawn Guard, but, you know, we don't need to be wasting too much time here. All right. Yeah, see, we want everyone to be leveled up, uh, the, you know, all the equipment before we do the main finale, which we're going to do really soon. All right, thanks for joining us uh, here on Lucette the Unlucky. Let's play Skyrim forever.